This morning we're going in depth on a Congress that will be unlike any other with more Republican women headed to Capitol Hill than ever before. NBC's Leanne Caldwell is here in Washington with more on this story. Leanne, good morning to you. Good morning, Kristen and Peter. Republicans have a lot to be grateful for this election season. Not only do they pick up seven seats in the House and possibly maintain their majority in the Senate, their wins are in large part thanks to women. This was the year for the GOP women. With dozens of Republican women breaking boundaries. I want to keep government off our backs and protect our constitutional rights. Including Nancy Mace. I was also the first woman to graduate from the Citadel, the Military College of South Carolina. Mace, now the first Republican woman elected to Congress from South Carolina. Single mom, one-time high school dropout, former Waffle House waitress. The, the rules are different. So it's not just what you say, it's how you say it. It's not just what you wear, it's how you wear it. Senator Susan Collins defying all odds. The first Republican woman to win a fifth Senate term. When I was chairing the Homeland Security Committee, I remember looking at the panel, looking to my left and my right, and all of a sudden realizing that I was the only woman. In the new Congress, at least 141 women will serve. A record-breaking 36 of them will be Republican. And of those 36, half of them will be freshmen serving their first term. The Democrats gained more than 30 seats in the House. They won seven governorships. After a dismal showing in 2018, the Republican Party put a focus on electing women to Congress. I won't back down from harmful socialist ideas like the Green New Deal. Newly elected, Cynthia Lummis is Wyoming's first female senator. Because Democrats went out of their way to recruit and place women, uh, and uh, the Republicans didn't do that as early. What changed this year from hardly any to a record number? Well, I think we put in a huge amount of effort and time into making sure that uh, we were reaching out, encouraging women in all of these districts to, to put their name on the ballot, to run. Because of President Trump, the Republican Party has struggled with suburban women. But Maria Elvira Salazar, a former TV journalist, newly elected to Congress, helped Trump overperform with Hispanics in South Florida. I am telling my party that women and minorities are the new face of America. All 10 seats that have flipped from blue to red were won by a woman or minority. But to ensure this year isn't an outlier, advocates warn the GOP must invest a lot more time, money, and energy to catch up to the number of Democratic women in Congress. Kristen, Peter. Great report, Leanne Caldwell. Thanks so much.